Most teenagers will spend part of their evenings doing homework, but Lauren Ashley is an exception. Because she misses so much school, Lauren does homework most nights and every summer. Kids don't understand what's going on. They're like, you look perfectly fine. You don't have cancer. You're not in a wheelchair. I'm like, well, I was in pain. The pain stems from pressure inside Lauren's head that, in her case, increases to unbearable levels without warning, a condition that was caught during a routine eye exam. The ophthalmologist looked in her eyes. He could tell that her optic nerves were very swollen and told us that um, she had a brain tumor. But extensive tests prove Lauren didn't have a brain tumor, just the pain and symptoms of one. It's a rare condition known as pseudotumor cerebri, and if left untreated, can be devastating. A number of people will actually go blind from this. This damages their optic nerves. Dr. Steve Roach of Nationwide Children's Hospital says it's hard to know how many kids have this condition, but it's clear that cases are steadily on the rise. That's why he and his colleagues are forming the first clinic in the country dedicated to treating pseudotumor in children. Patients like Lauren often take dozens of medicines, sometimes endure countless surgeries, and travel extensively to see different specialists. But this clinic could simplify that. Roach, who is also with Ohio State University, says it will help by allowing eye doctors, surgeons, and imaging specialists all to work in one place toward one goal. We can find these kids earlier and get them treated. I mean, it's a really sh a crying shame to have a, an eight-year-old lose their vision when we could prevent it. It's an idea the Ashleys appreciate. They've started their own website to get out information about this condition and treatment options others may not know about. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.